let's get it out to Comerica right now. Meredith Morakovitz is standing by. And, you know, looking at you, Meredith, uh, we get the vibe that you may, maybe got rerouted through Reykjavik, Iceland or something. Like, what's going on there with that look and the weather? I'm technically in Alaska right now, I think, Bob. I would love that warm, fuzzy blanket. The uh, video board actually has the temperature on it. It says 43 degrees, but I can tell you it is a lot colder than that. It feels a lot colder than that. Come first pitch, it's expected to be about 39 degrees and winds as high as 19 miles an hour. It's really the wind that is going to be killer this evening. And I spoke with several guys in that clubhouse, including Nestor Cortez, who joked with me, I am so glad that I do not have to throw in this series. Garrett Cole certainly going to have his work cut out for him tonight. I also spoke with John Carlos Stanton, who's DHing this evening. I said, how do you stay warm on an evening like tonight when you're DHing? And he said, you stay inside a little bit longer than you normally would, and you make sure you continue to do your work in the weight room, continue to stay loose, stretch, so when you get out there on the field, you're okay. Aaron Hicks, you'll hear from in just a little bit. He spoke about that as well, but a lot of guys are going to have a lot of hand warmers in their pockets trying to keep their hands ready to go, especially pitcher Clay Holmes. He told me that's his major concern. He just needs to make sure he keeps his hands warm. If he has hand warmers in the pocket, he feels as though that should do the trick. As far as tonight's lineup is concerned, you are going to see Aaron Hicks in that leadoff spot for the third consecutive game. I caught up with Hicks earlier today to ask him how he's liking the leadoff spot. Being able to try to set the table for the guys. Um, for me, just being able to bunt, utilize all my skills still. Uh, just kind of, you know, just works at the top of the of the batting order and uh, trying to get things going. You had mentioned the other day that you wanted to be more aggressive on the base paths this year. How do you determine when's a good time to go, especially considering Aaron Judge is sitting behind you? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's just more of a feel thing, you know, uh, two strikes, you know, uh, three, two, definitely. Um, just kind of taking advantage of opportunities that are there for me um, is the most important thing, and that's kind of how I got to go about it. How do you stay warm today? How do you stay loose? Um, a lot of hand warmers. Um, I'm going to be wearing the little football thing out there. So um, just and try to keep moving around. That's pretty much all you can do. And the Yankees dugout is not heated, but they do have a portable heater that they brought in there. You better believe guys are going to be standing by that tonight. And back to the lineup, Glaber Torres is the odd man out this evening. So you're going to see DJ LeMahieu in there at second base. Aaron Boone said he expects Torres back in there tomorrow, but DJ has been swinging the bat well. Glaber Torres has struggled a little bit at the plate. Or if DJ is going to continue to get more playing time at second base, if Glaber can't find a way to heat up a little bit. Well, Meredith, let's talk about Garrett Cole now. You mentioned what a challenge it will be for him tonight, getting a feel for his pitches, but also being a little more pitch efficient, perhaps, and getting a little deeper into this game. What does he say about that? Well, it's been a little bit of a work in progress for Garrett Cole. If you remember his last outing against the Blue Jays, Vlad Guerrero Jr. really had his way with Cole. He seemed like he had an otherworldly, according to Aaron Boone, performance uh, when he stepped into the batter's box. But Garrett Cole threw 85 pitches in that one. That lasted five and two-thirds. He gave up three runs in that one. Cole feels as though he is a little bit more stretched out, almost where he would be typically now to start the season. So pitch count really shouldn't be an issue tonight. I asked Aaron Boone how he he's felt about the start to Garrett Cole's season. I feel like Garrett's in a good spot. Um, I really feel that way. You know, after his first four hitters of the season against Boston, I feel like he's thrown the ball really well. I feel like he's poised for a big season, and, you know, tonight's another step in that. So, you know, always want him to go out and perform at a high level and, and, and expect that anytime he takes the ball. But... I, I don't know how much we have to. We'll have to look back on it and look, and we can, if you want to go point to this game as one way or the other, you know, we need him obviously to be healthy and strong and, and have a big season for us. Um, and hopefully he continues that tonight. And I spoke to Garrett Cole in the clubhouse in Baltimore prior to this start, and he said he's still trying to find his good delivery. He wants that fastball away to be more of a factor for him. He doesn't feel as though he's using the corners like he could, so that perhaps is something to look out for tonight. But just gripping the ball, Bob, is going to be a problem for these pitchers this evening. 